Old school and today's R&B 95.5. Michael Jackson, Tony Scott for Stacy Static on the day after Christmas. First day of Kwanzaa. I believe it's uh, Emoja or let me double check that get back to you. I used to know that by the top of my head, but for some reason, as you get older, <laughs> things just kind of come and go as they please, if you know what I'm saying. Hey, if you got underwear as a Christmas gift and it was purchased at, uh, let's see, Victoria's Secret or Marshall's, uh, say it came from out of town, uh, you need to take it back. Because uh, an investigative report, this is on styleblazer.com, they said they were reselling uh, return underwear. The investigative team uh, bought women's underwear and removed all the tags, but before returning the garments to the stores, two dots were placed on the label so they could easily be identified. Now, the underwear at Macy's, they tested Macy's, ended up in a clear bag marked damage. The underwear at Victoria's Secret ended up back on the shelf, and Marshall's was quick to retag uh, not only return underwear, but also uh, a used swimsuit, and they put that back on a rack. And Walmart is also guilty of the same thing with a uh, hidden camera is how they got caught. And uh, let's see, Victoria's Secret says our top priority is our customer satisfaction and safety. The actions you described are clear and significant violations of our policy. We take the situation very seriously and are taking immediate action to re-educate all of our associates on the proper way to handle returns. Walmart says, bring it back for a refund. <laughs> and we're going to re-educate our staff. Let's all hope so. See, that's the difference between, like, men's underwear and women's underwear. I, for the most part, I mean, women's underwear sales have kind of, like, started going into a package. Men's drawers have always been in packages. It's very seldom that you see a single, just one sitting out somewhere where you can just pick up and tag. But Victoria's Secret stores like that, they just kind of lay it out. Some of the department stores, they hang them on little plastic hangers and stuff like that. See, I got to get my drawers prepackaged. Call me finicky. <laughs> if, if you want to. All right, coming up. Got some prints on the way. Got some Kim coming up. Pharrell Williams is uh, happy about the greatest year of his career, but maybe not so happy as a businessman. I'm going to tell you about that coming up, too, at about 11.05, maybe 11.10, all right? And all that's coming up in seven minutes. Thanks for making a bigger right switch from, uh, for, uh, thanks for making a bigger right switch to old school in today's R&B, 95.5.